Hi everyone, it's Connor here from Durham Hearing Specialists. I hope you're doing well and welcome to a very interesting video today. I'm going to show you a new tool which I've been wanting to use for quite some time. So I'll introduce it in a moment. But first and foremost, what we have here is a very, very dense plug of dead skin occluding this ear. And there's also a, 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 the same case on the other side. So I'll use this new tool on each ear. But um, as you can see, I'm really, really struggling because it's so dry and crusty. And, you know, I'm trying all the usual techniques here to lift up from the sides and, you know, roll it together like a parcel. I try olive oil, but really, it's I don't really get anywhere. And um, as you can see, we've got a little bit of movement, but that's about as far as I get. And the problem with this is, is that normally dead skin plugs like this aren't that much of a problem. As long as it's not full-blown keratosis obturans, then it's not that much of a problem. As long as it's been softened to some degree with olive oil or sodium bicarb, something like that. In this particular case, there's been nothing. So it is, you know, as dry and crusty as you can get it. And the incumbent problem with that is, is that not only is it adhered to the canal walls, but when you have a, a rigid steel suction probe, um, and you're trying to latch on to a very uneven, dry, hard, crusty surface, you tend to not get that, that seal. So, you know, in, in these suction videos, whenever I'm approaching, uh, you know, a boulder of wax or soft wax or whatever, we can usually drag it out because a seal is created, um, like an interface, a coupling is created between the steel suction probe and the wax. So the, the two surfaces have essentially met and created a, a, a lock, an airtight lock, which then allows us to, to drag it out. Um, and in this particular case, that is just not happening. Uh, so what I'm going to show you is uh, what's called a clearway suction handle or a clearway suction probe. Just use trying some olive oil here desperately just to, to make some progress. But um, I saw this online. It's, it's made by a company called DTR Medical. In the UK, uh, and they make it in the UK. I saw this online, I emailed the company and they very kindly sent me a, a free sample to try out. So thank you very much, DTR Medical. But it's a very interesting concept. What it is, is a suction, a, a normal steel suction probe, but with a very soft silicone tip on the end. Very similar to like the suction cup of an octopus or like a, an elephant trunk. And the idea behind it is, is that well, it's primarily designed to, to remove foreign bodies from the nose and ear. So this is what we have here. And you can see how the end of it is very soft, soft silicone. And the idea is that as you approach this foreign body, or in this case, you know, plug of dead skin, when you actually activate it by closing the hole, the soft silicone tip will latch on to the surface. And you can see there now it's latched on. And the rubber, you know, the silicone tip will deform around the, you know, the object that you want to pull out. Um, and you can see now I'm not having to wiggle. I'm not having to, you know, faff around. It is just, I'm, I'm literally now just very slowly dragging it. Um, I'm doing it slowly so as we don't cause barrow trauma to the, to the eardrum, which I was slightly worried about. Um, barrow trauma meaning trauma created by pressure. So that, that pull, you know, pulling a very firm occluding plug can obviously pull on the eardrum a little bit just due to that that air pocket between the plug and the eardrum so you can see here i'm just latching on again and the, the i'll show you what it looks like after the video but essentially it has a, a little hole it's fenestrated so it has a hole in the handle and when you want to increase the suction power you close the hole with your thumb but there it is and you can see you can see here just how the the rubber tip is wrapped around that that plug of dead skin so there we go uh Ear canal's looking fairly sore, to be expected. And um, we just have a little bit more debris here to clear. But um, the principle is, is, you know, is very sensible, it's very good. Um, you know, it's meant to remove foreign bodies from the nose and ear. So think sort of marbles and things that, that children would shove up their nose or in their ear. Um, in practice, it, it's a little large. And uh, see these little black specks here at the time I was worried that this was a sign of, of, of fungal growth. Um, whenever I see little black specks in the ear, uh, whether it's on wax or in the ear canal, I'm immediately thinking Aspergillus niger, which is a type of fungal infection. Um, but it is only on that little piece of wax, so it's probably just you know, some kind of foreign body 
just little specks that are in there. I can't see anything unusual here. So drowning the ear with olive oil and then dragging it out. So it's the, this clearway suction handle is primarily designed to, you know, deform round, you know, difficult to suction objects like marbles, for example, and then you can drag it out. It's a little large, as you can see, but uh, lovely looking eardrum there. We've got some skin adhered to the drum. That's absolutely fine. Uh, but as you can see, it also works fairly well, despite being large, it works fairly well with very large plugs of dead skin. And I don't get very many cases at all of foreign bodies and marbles and other things like that. So now in this ear, we have a very similar appearance, um, very dense plug of dead skin, which is, you know, suspiciously smooth and concave. So I wonder what could have possibly made it smooth and concave like that. But either way, olive oil. Now I have a lot more success with a standard steel suction probe. Um, or Zollner suction probe, or Zoelna suction probe, whatever you want to, whatever you want to call it. Um, and what I'm doing here is lifting off the sides. Uh, and in fact, to be honest, doing this process first probably makes use of the clearway suction handle a lot safer. Um, so one, <clears throat> one of the things that I teach students, and one of the things that I think most people know when they're doing microsuction, is that if somebody has a healed perforation, and that's within, you know, the last few months. Um, if they've any any kind of eardrum perforation, suction is can be incredibly dangerous. And the reason is is that when you have a plug like this and you're pulling on it, because there's an air pocket, a tiny air pocket between the the eardrum and the plug. <coughs> excuse me. Uh, when you're pulling on that plug, that's going to create a little bit of pull on the eardrum. And if you have a, a perforation which is just about healed then there's a chance that you could pull on that little area of weakness and, and reopen the perforation. So, I mean, this, this person didn't, um, didn't say anything like that at all. They, they've never had a perforation in their life. But just to explain the principle of using, of, of, of opening up the canal first and creating these little gaps where air can flow through, I think that's probably a lot safer and more comfortable for the patient before you use the clear way. But either way, as you can see, I've had a lot more success here with this um, dead skin plug. And, th and by the way, the, the patient, although they didn't mention eardrum perforation, they did mention um, ear infections, very recent ear infections uh, a couple of months ago in both ears. So I rather suspect that there is a, a relationship there. And uh, as I've mentioned in other videos, there is a very clear uh, relationship between the titus externa and lots of desquamation or dead skin shedding into the ear canal. Uh, now, at this point, uh, a lot of faffing ensues here because this, this plug is a very awkward shape and a lot larger than the aperture of the ear canal, which is often the case, actually, I find. So, you know, a lot of wiggling around ensues and uh, I'm going to, I eventually reach for a cawthorn hook thinking that that would um, save the day. But again, I'm going to have to use the clearway suction here. So, again, we just have... At this point, I'm thinking, right, I'll go in with a cawthorn hook. This plug is probably very dense and very hard, and I'll just drag it out like a hero and save the day. But actually, I end up shooting myself in the foot because the, the, the plug is not as well formed as I thought, and I end up just, you know, creating a bit of a mess here and shooting myself in the foot. So here, it sort of looks like the, the strategy is working. But, uh, and I do, I do drag it forwards a little bit, but uh, it's just stuck. It just completely stuck there and uh, the cawthorn hook just kind of drags, you know, smushes through the plug, you know, just like it would um, if, if it was really soft wax. So it's very crumbly, as you can see. So one last attempt with the steel uh, Zollner probe. But again, it is well and truly stuck there. I probably could have used a Jobson horn here to drag it out. Um, but at this point, I thought, well, I've already used the, the clearway once. It's the same patient, so I might as well use it again. Um, and I, I, at this point, I really didn't want to, to faff around too long. So olive oil as a, a last ditch attempt to lubricate the ear canal here. And you can see the center of the plug is actually very dense. And then the outside of it is, is sort of enveloped in this kind of um, pearly white matrix. Again, that's a, a very clear sign of desquamation. So in again with the clear way, 
when I clamp down on the hole, that will increase the power, and now I can just drag it out. So, and there we have it. So, lost a little bit of suction there. <coughs> and now I can finally end the procedure and just drag it out in one. So, a fairly effective tool to have, to have in the arsenal there. Um, let's go and have a look at the ear canal. Very sore ear canal, fairly inflamed eardrum, but again, to be expected given the amount of pressure and obviously the amount of abrasion um, during the procedure. So this is the debris that we've removed. Again, good centimeter chunks there. And uh, again, you can see the sort of fresher skin on the outside of the plug there. And this is the clearway handle. So that's the little fenestration in the handle there. So you would cover that to increase the suction power. And the, ha the, the actual steel portion turns, which I thought was unusual, um, somewhat annoying, but um, it allowed me to actually orientate the hole so it was comfortable for me. So, and uh, obviously, as you can see, you know, the, the, the soft silicone tip allows you to pick up pretty much anything, um, even this metal battery. When you let go of the hole, you can just let go of it easily. So there is still some passive suction, even if the hole isn't covered. Um, but again, um, when you close it, um, that closes the system and allows you to use the full force of the machine, which the, the handle is attached to. Um, so there we go. I thought that was a very interesting tool. Again, it's the first time I've used it. Um, so thank you very much, DTR Medical. The only thing I would say is it could probably be smaller. Um, I would say even if it was 30% smaller, it would be fantastic. It would be very popular and I would certainly buy a lot of them. So, but other than that, uh, great product, great tool. Thank you very much for watching, liking, and subscribing. If you have any questions, leave them down in the description below and I will try my very best to get back to you. And of course, I will see you on the next video.